I have three of the Thermocell mosquito repellent units here. Uh, I have six in total. Uh, these three stopped igniting or staying lit uh, quite a while ago. And probably like a lot of other people, I just ran out and bought a new one here in Florida. You ain't going to the, you ain't going to the woods without one. Uh, so I got to tinkering with them and uh, trying to figure out what was causing them to not light or stay lit and uh, found a pretty easy solution to it and now all three work just like they're brand new so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, basically on the back you're going to have three or six Phillip head screws here, here, and here. You'll loosen them up. I've already done that. You want to take your end cap off got a butane cartridge in to go ahead and take it out sometimes the little screws that from back here fall out I'm not worried about that right now you want to go ahead and disassemble it take the cover off you can take your ignite ignition button off your on off and up in the front your clear lens actually comes off and it'll fall out a lot of times so you don't want to lose that this is your ignition this this is your on off lever which is activated when you slide this back and forth when you have it off it pushes it forward and does not allow the butane to come in when you turn it on it comes forward lets butane in I'll get back to that in a minute there's two screws here you want to remove Go ahead and remove these. You got a spring right here. Pull it back, and it'll pop right off. When you go to take this out, if you push in and lift up, it's kind of awkward doing it this way, but there you go. You see a spring in there. Go ahead and remove this. Go ahead and get that spring. What that spring does, it actually goes in here and it pushes on that pin that actually goes into the butane cartridge, butane cartridge and uh, allows the butane out. And what I found was it wasn't engaging the butane, butane cartridge uh, entirely, so it wasn't letting enough uh, butane in to stay lit or ignite. So I simple fix, I pulled on it, stretched it out a bit, and uh, now it puts more pressure on that pin and fully engages the, the butane, butane cartridge. Uh, I swear I know the word butane, I just keep saying butane because I want to say propane. But anyway, um, once you've stretched it out, one of the things you want to think or make sure is this little arm it can come out of the, the slot there and fall down like that it does not go like that it actually goes in like that you take your spring it'll go in the bottom hole this will go in the middle hole and put them back together. You'll have to push. Push it in. Once you get it in, where those two screws go, it actually has a crevice to catch it. So, then it's a matter of putting the two screws back in.
put the two screws back in. Your spring will go over that top nodule. Back on the lever. And see my lever fell out. So I gotta pull it back out. Sitting here doing a video telling you how to do it, and then I didn't pay attention. To Like I said, it goes like that. Let's see if we can get it in there again. All right, we got it that time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in. If you want to test it before you put it back together, go ahead and see if you got to stretch it out some more. Go ahead and put your butane, butane cartridge back in. Uh, it'll be on because your is your on off switch for it to be off. Back will be on. We'll let it lit up the first time. So anyway, now it's just a matter of putting. Uh, everything back together I'm gonna go ahead and take the cards back out and take a clear screen or your clear lens put it back in the front your on off switch has a slot that fits right on top of here your ignition button sits square on top you want the smooth side or the smooth edge on uh, each side and it's just a matter of putting it back together put your screws back in I literally probably haven't used this thermocell in four or five years. So I'm glad I played with it. It's an easy fix. Now I can sit with two of them in the tree stand instead of one. If I needed to. They say wait 10 seconds before you try lighting it, but I'm impatient trying to show the video. Anyway, hope that helps and save you some money.